Hey, my name is Juan. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Impact Tech USA. So today we invited West Coast Boom to come inside our facility and actually film our robotic welding arm and the process and what it takes to actually build a state-of-the-art crash cage. We have been the industry leaders in crash cage for a very long time. We have been the industry pioneers for a very long time and we want this industry to grow. We want stunting to be known as a phenomenon like skateboarding, motocross, NASCAR, all these multi-billion dollar industries. And the only way to do that is to lead by example. Let's get it, boys. Fortune, where's your... Should have brought your camera. Shoot some behind the scenes stuff. So the purchase of this robotic welding arm was very scary. It could have broken us or it could have made us. It was one of those decisions where we upfronted a large amount of capital in order to get this into our facility. And one of the craziest things was usually manufacturers purchase this and they're only welding in straight lines, meaning they're only welding from point A to point B. We were crazy enough to think, hey, you know what, we're gonna purchase this and we are gonna get an entire crash cage front and back to be welded only by the robotic welding arm, which took months and months of programming, which we crammed into weeks. So our lead welder, Suntran, went ahead and did the commitment of programming this robotic welding arm and it took, it took so many man hours. I mean, for our most popular crash cage, like the 2013 to 2023 Kawasaki ZXXR, it took about 400 to 500 hours to get the left and the right side programmed perfectly. And he did that in shifts of 24 to 32 hours nonstop consecutively. And it's one of those things where if we didn't have him programming it, none of this would have been possible because it would have probably taken a programmer anywhere between a year to two years to fully program this robotic welding arm and it only took him two months okay so this is our otc robotic welding arm and this is something new for 2022 here at impact tech usa the robotic welding arm allows us here at impact tech to mass produce these crash cages these zxxr crash cages used to take us about two to three hours to manufacture one from start to finish now from start to finish, we can get this manufactured in about 15 minutes. So as you can see, it's a big up in production and also allows us to fully automate our crash gauge, something that has never been done in the industry. Basically what a fully automated crash gauge means is every single component on this crash gauge has either been cut through a machine, has been made through a machine, or has been welded through a machine. So every single motor mount from the top mount, mid mount, back mount, have been cut through a Haas CNC machine and every single tube has been cut through a plasma cutter to ensure all the notches are perfect. And every bend has been bent through a CNC bender on the crash cage. The robotic welding arm actually welds 98% of the entire cage. The other 2% is done by a human. Basically what a human has to do to ensure fitment is we'll get all the components, we'll put them in a jig, and then the human will actually tack weld each component. As you can see here, it gets tack welded to ensure that everything fits in the jig 100% perfectly. Once it's been tack welded, then we insert it here on this jig on the robot. And yeah, the robotic welding arm will do it. I really wanted that. to show everybody what it takes to make a multi-million dollar company. And if it takes us showing everybody step-by-step -step on what machinery you have to purchase and what it takes to do that, then so be it, you know, we're not trying to be greedy. We want every other company in the sun industry to grow just as we did in order to grow this industry. So now we're gonna turn this on. And again, the first run isn't gonna weld, it's just gonna trace everything. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, now it's gonna start doing that. As you can see, the tolerances between the actual arm and the cage are really, really tight. This is what takes hours and hours of programming to ensure that the cage does not hit the, uh, the robot. 
because one crash can cost anywhere between ten to twenty thousand dollars to repair this. A lot of other crash cage manufacturers still do everything by hand and there's nothing wrong with doing it by hand but when you do have a human cutting every piece, bending every piece, and welding every piece. There's a lot of human error associated with those. And human error causes you know you to receive your crash cage and the fitment not be perfect. The fitment be out of place, the you know, the cage be welded incorrectly or missing a weld somewhere. I mean I've heard so many horror stories. So we from day one wanted to ensure that every single crash cage that leaves our facility is done absolutely impeccably. And in order to do that, you need millions and millions of dollars worth of heavy machinery to accomplish that. Over the years, we've made a lot of money and all that money has been reinvested into all these manufacturing tools. Our CNC machine shop started off with two old machines that were probably valued at $20,000 a piece. And now we have a multi-million dollar machine shop, which all new Haas CNC machines. And every component that we make is engineered here in our warehouse. We have two in-house engineers that develop all the programming, develop all the parts. And we have two in-house CNC operators which operate everything in-house. So we don't outsource, we're not a job shop, we don't have contracts with any other company or any other small shop trying to get parts. Everything we do here in our 10,000 square foot uh, state-of-the-art manufacturing facility is done for Impact okay. Tech USA. Ready? Okay, now we're gonna get to the fun part. Now, this is actually gonna weld one of our 13 to 2023 Kawasaki ZX6R crash cages. And I did wanna point out that I want everybody to see the process in which we make our crash cages so we can continue to push the industry. There's still a lot of crash cage manufacturers that build crash cages the old way. And us being the industry leaders, we always wanna innovate and we always wanna push other companies to do better. Um, so this is a demonstration of what our stun industry has to offer in the upcoming years. So you can see the speed difference, right? Yeah. So if you look at how long it took me just to weld these, what, three inches of weld compared to what the robot did, three inches of weld for me took me, what was that, like 15, 10 seconds? The robot would have done that in two. So the speed in which the robot welds is far superior than what a human can, and plus the welds are a lot better, right? So as you can see, welding with a human is gonna be a lot slower than welding with a robotic welding arm. It took us a long time to get these straight angles versus what the robotic welding arm would have taken. Now, I'm gonna show you how complicated a crash cage really is to weld because this was a straight line. Most of our crash cages are not gonna be that simple. For example, here we have one of our most popular selling cages. This is gonna be an FZ07 MT07 crash cage. And this is gonna be the jig that it's gonna be welded on. Most of the times you work on one side of the crash cage first, meaning you either weld the top side or you weld the bottom side. If you're gonna weld the top side, all of our crash cages have these really complex curves. So somebody has to put this on the fixture and go ahead and weld each individual curve individually. So they'll weld it one side. Once that weld is done, they'll move the fixture. They'll weld the other side. Once that side's done, they'll move the fixture. Then you weld this and so forth and so forth. This cage has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten individual welds just on the top side. Once the welder is done with the top side, he'll then flip the crash cage over and weld the back side of the crash cage, which is going to take the same amount of time. As you can see, this process is very time consuming compared to our robotic welding arm, but a lot of the crash cages that we have yet to program on the robotic welding arm are still going to be done in this fashion. But yeah, 
a lot of information, but just know that Impact Tech USA and every employee here in our facility takes extreme pride in everything we do, and we will not let something leave our facility unless it is 100% perfect, as you probably might have already seen with me explaining the precision of the robot. So Impact Tech started off in a garage in 2008, and a lot of people don't know, but the main reason why it started was because the CEO and the founder of Impact Tech USA was riding a different company's crash cage and kept cracking that cage. He kept going out to shows, he kept going out to the lots, and what, whatever he did, he just kept cracking those cages. Those cages bent very easily, the weld started to crack, and honestly, it just wasn't cutting it for him. Um, that company was a company that no longer is around for good reasons, obviously, but at that time, it was the biggest stunt cage company in the world. And what he did was he's like, you know what, I'm gonna go to my garage, I'm gonna learn how to weld, I'm gonna learn how to fabricate and fabricate his own cage. And before you knew it, everybody kept asking, what cage is that? Why, why isn't that cage breaking? Why is that cage far superior than any other company in the industry? And he's like, hey, I can make you one. Started making one, fast forward 18 years later, we're the largest crash cage company in the world, period. We make everything in the United States. Nothing is outsourced, nothing is shipped from overseas, and we're goddamn proud of that. And fuck, we make the best crash cage in the world.